Let's get you in there then. I'm going to need your details. You aren't going anywhere and neither am I. Hey, take the time and get this right. From what I hear, you ain't leaving us in my life at all to watch. <laughs> We're gonna need a fair record of you. Mm -hmm. Maybe so. Tell me everything except that you're innocent. I'd find that hard to believe. <laughs> the first one is there. Quite a record we'll have on you. You're lucky you were caught, you know. The way the town feels about what happened, you were likely to be shot. So what do you do with Red, red Dead 2? It's a process, all right, but a necessary one. You know, you're weird. I don't know who's talking, but I don't care. How you doing with that? Thank you, you know. Okay then. It's all correct. I'll take a photograph. Hold on your fingers. Okay. Jail. Jackson, was... Officer Jackson, move those prisoners. Officer Baton, kitchen's eat staff. Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves. What are you standing there for? Get moving. What are you looking at? Go on, get moving. You, you. You with the hammer, and you, you'll do. We need to perform a work detail out in Rhodes. Come on, get in. Open the gate. Come on, Milliken. We're gonna escape from the club, I bet you.
tell you what, old Jameson is a wretched, sour old bastard, no mistake. You lot stay calm in there. You aren't saying nothing. Well, you are now. Shut up. You know, my wife has acquired ideas significantly above her station. She's been reading too many goddamn books. Personally, I'm against education. Women, I mean. And men, I guess. Unnecessary. Doesn't add much to the world. Let me show you this. Do anything stupid, nobody gets shot. Act like fools, and the pair of you will be dead within a minute. Now, what are your names? Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. You boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let him out. Now, please. Okay. Okay. You all run away. Aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is a stroke of good fortune for all of you. Use it. Now, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken. Be so kind as to uh, quickly run away. Before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Wynn, I believe it was $50 we agreed on. It was? There's 50 each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. Now, sir, how about you pick up these guns and we move out? My mistress is waiting for us. Come along. Then you better get on this horse. <laughs> so it's horse in mind, I want to wait on. It's not much of an animal, but they haven't got far to ride. Just get on the horse. And you're good and ready, okay? Can we go now? Okay. Ready? Wonderful. I hope you'll forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. Six months at Sissica Penitentiary, awaiting a hanging for a murder you did not commit. Must have felt a whole lot longer, my friend. Well, I just did. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like breaking all those rocks have left you entirely broken body or in spirit. I hope I am right about that. Rounding you folks up. No sham trials. What are you doing your work that's well, I'm not playing the campaign, I'm playing online. I just started. I I'm doing it. I'm on horsey, catch up. Maybe you just want to put it all behind you, forget you were in there at all. That would be fine, of course. You will listen to my mistress first. She spent a good sum getting you folks out. You owe her an audience, at least. She's just up here. There's the case. Get your horse. Tie it here. Madam, we're back. Hello. Jessica the clerk, how do you do? What did you tell him? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Hawley. <laughs> I do hope, so hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing, but seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. I know you're innocent. Well, not, not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. 
I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies, and that you were set up by one of them. Yes, I'm gonna go get breakfast. That's all I know so far. One of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. Anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Uh, where are my manners? Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. You'll find a change of clothes in there. Alongside a few other items you might need. A lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe. I'm just cussing with my character for the best. What? That looks more comfortable. Holly? Here, madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his, one of his business partners. partners. And, I and I intend to find out which one. Or rather, or rather I, intend I intend you to find out and kill, and kill them. them. You're the, You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices? You're the only other victims of their lies. You see... You walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets, this was their mistake. You rounded up and sentenced to death, all because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are. The people, the people who run Black Blackwater. Mr. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw, banker, banker real, real estate, estate speculator, speculator, and crook. crook. Mr. Mr. Amos Lansing, Lansing ranch, ranch owner, speculator, speculator, and crook. And crook. Mrs. Mrs. Grace, Grace Lansing, Lansing, his wife. His wife. Society, Society patron, lover of the arts. The arts. Crook. crook, my, my former, former, former best friend. friend. Teddy Brown. Teddy Brown. A disgraced disgrace. brother, brother. Out, 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 wanted, wanted man, man. still in contact with them. them. All, All I ask of you is your help, help, help in finding out, out what, 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 what happened. This is the clerk would like to help you get back on your feet, back to, back work. to work. Whatever, Whatever your, your work, work may, be. may be, I don't judge. I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. rob, rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me just as much as I need you. I think we all understand, understand each other. other. I hope, I hope we, do. we do. Good, good. I look, I look forward, forward to rewarding, rewarding you for killing, killing those who made me a widow. widow. My husband, My husband was, was a true believer in this country, country in the West. West. He, was he was killed, killed for, greed. for greed. Foul, Foul greed. greed. There's quite, there's quite enough, enough for everybody. everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Goodbye, for now. Then Hawley, go introduce him to nice Mr. Cripps. I think you'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone entirely crazy just yet. And he will help you better than most of his ilk. Cripps, get up. Oh, hello, partner. Hawley. <laughs> This is your new boss. Oh, 
Pleased to meet you, partner. J.B. Cripps at your service. We'll pay, pay to get, to get yeah. your camp established. Mrs. Mrs. Leclerc, Leclerc is, is a generous benefactor. benefactor. And, uh, where are we, where are we headed? Establishing your camp. Perhaps you can go to the station and see the clerk. Then head to see Clay Davies. He's a horse thief and uh, not a terribly nice one. Then meet Cripps back at your camp. See you shortly, boss. Good luck, luck. I'm sure you're tired. Get this done and you can rest. Yeah, I miss a log cutscene. Wait, I don't know. Well, we're here. Nothing in here. Mm -mm. Go on, back to what I pay you for.
Hello. You must. You must. Uh, uh, you must. You must be a, a Arlis friend. 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 He's, one, He's of one of us. He said, he said you also you were, were a discouraged man. man. I'm, I'm very, very discouraged. discouraged. Disappointed, Disappointed all that. That's, that's me. And anyway, it's a pleasure, pleasure to make your acquaintance. acquaintance. I find, I find your, your reticence charming. charming. Real, Real charming. charming. By the, By the way, way, I heard you might, you might want to earn a little money. money. Well, well, some, some gentlemen have been robbing, robbing our stages, stages and they are not part of the club, if you catch my meaning. If you, if you can make them go away, away I'm, sure I'm sure they will have something of interest, interest to you. They're, They're up at Blue Water, water, water Marsh. See what, see what you can do, okay? okay? Here, here, by the way, by the way a catalog. A catalog the, the latest, latest issue, issue just came, just came into this armpit from a land more civilized. And if, and if all works out, out well, my colleagues and I move around, around these stations, stations as needed. And all, and all of us are very, very discouraged. We will, we will all help a fellow suffer per per information. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do this mission and the end of the Let me see how long the box has been on. Oh, guys, this is the first part, and I'm done. Yeah, I used to. Hello, guys, I'll make a part.